Hello. Today, I have with me Dr. Masaharu Tsubukura. Dr. Tsubukura graduated from Tokyo University Medical School in 2006. He is an expert in hematology and radiation health management. In 2011, after the Tohoku earthquake crisis, Dr. Tsubukura began working in Fukushima at the Hirata Central Hospital and at the Minami Soma Municipal General, General Hospital, seeing patients and conducting research on the effects of nuclear crisis on patient health, but also effects of contamination on food products. Dr. Tsubukura held several town hall meetings with those living in Fukushima who were concerned about the effects of nuclear crisis. His research has been widely appraised and has won awards and global recognition. Hello, Dr. Tsubokura. Thank you for uh, agreeing to do this. I want to start with some basic questions. Pardon me for uh, the uh, naivete of the questions. Mm -hmm. But these are things that I think people are most interested in hearing. Mm -hmm. First of all, I hear the word PCR testing every day in Japan through the media. But what exactly is PCR testing? Um, the, by PCR testing, we can see whether we have the coronavirus uh, or not at the time of the testing. The, we can take the, some samples from the nasal cavity or the mouth, uh, such as saliva or the sputums, and the, the, we put the sample to the machine and amplify the, the sample the, to detect whether that we can have the, the DNA or RNA of the virus. So the, if the PCR test is positive, that you have the coronavirus at the time of the testing. And the, the PCR test is negative, you don't have the coronavirus at the time of the testing. That means we don't know whether you had the coronavirus before by PCR testing. Mm, I see. Now, is um, how long does a PCR testing uh, take? Um, for example, I understand that if you're living abroad and want to come back into Japan, that you need to have PCR testing testing done. Uh, actually, the, the, we can take the sputum or saliva, let's say, in a few minutes, and uh, the, we put the sample to the machine and the. Uh, for the amplification, we need, uh, let's say, a few hours, three hours or four hours for the one sample. I understand. So that's a big difference than what I pers was uh, my understanding previously, which was that it took a long time for mm -hmm. the results to come back. Now, um, are the availability um, of PCR testing um, or are testing limited to places such as large hospitals? Uh, the, before the corona pandemic, the only the very big hospitals had the PCR machines, but the, after the corona pandemic, a lot of hospitals or a lot of facilities like the city halls or the health centers bought the new PCR machines. And the, if you get one small PCR machine inside one hospital, then you can perform the PCR testing even in the very small hospital. Oh, so that includes clinics as well? Uh, yeah, it's possible. But usually the, the machine is very expensive. So the, usually the hospital will buy the machine. Right. So um, in addition, um, I have been hearing a lot about antibody testing. So mm -hmm. what is the purpose of conducting an antibody testing? Um, yeah, the, if you infected the, with the coronavirus, the, your body will react to the coronavirus and you will make the antibody uh, such as immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin M to the coronavirus. The, by the antibody testing, we can check whether you have that kind of antibody inside your blood. So the, the, if your antibody test is positive, maybe you had the, the infection before and if you don't have the antibody, antibody inside your blood, maybe you don't have any experience of having the coronavirus before. 
Um, is the antibody testing uh, just as um, accurate or um, how, uh, how is the efficacy of uh, yeah. antibody testing? I understand yeah, yeah. several that, that, times. That, that's a very important point. Uh, you know, the lot of companies, the, the start to sell the kind of the very easy tool, tool kit for the detection of the antibody, but the, the, the effectiveness, uh, I mean, the accuracy of the, these antibody tests were very different from each other. So the, for example, the, in our hospital, we performed the antibody testing for more than 600 the medical staff, medics, and by using the two, the antibody test, one from the one company from China and the one, the other is from other countries. But uh, when we performed these two tests, the result of the two tests were very different. Mm. I mean, the, from the one test, the more than 60, uh, sorry, more than 50 people out of 600 medics showed positive result by one test. Otherwise, uh, only six or five people showed positive by the other test. So, you know, the detection rate were the very, very different between each other. So as a doctor, if you see these two results, mm -hmm. um, is your tendency to believe that there are more uh, people, uh, which uh, would symbolize the accuracy of the Trescott, or would it would would you tend to be a little bit more conservative? In the future, we definitely need the good antibody test because the we everyone want to have the good vaccine mm -hmm. for the prevention in the future, and to. to check the efficacy of the vaccine, we need the good antibody test. So the, in the future, we need, uh, definitely need the good antibody test in the future. But the, currently, we have several tests for the antibody detection, but the accuracy the, were very, very different. So the, we need to check the, the cross check, the which, which test is the more, more accurate, which test is more, um, uh, reliable, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would you recommend as a doctor mm -hmm. uh, that uh, the patients do not just the antibody uh, testing, but that they should also do the PCR testing? Uh, for the infection control, the, in my opinion, the PCR testing will be more and more effective much more effective than the antibody testing for the infection control. But the, in the future, the, 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 for the vaccine prevention, we need antibody test. But the, if we want, the, that depends on the, the purpose, the, the purpose of the infection control. The, mm -hmm. If you want to control the infection now, PCR testing we need, but the, in the future, we want to have the good antibody test. Right. So what you're implying is that the antibody testing would be very important for countries to do so that they can uh, develop a longer term strategy mm -hmm. to ensure that they don't, for example, see a second wave and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And um, do you believe that uh, actually having that kind of strategy is very important right now, um, especially um, uh, within hospitals and other uh, among healthcare providers? Yeah, so the, as I mentioned, the, the accuracy of antibody testing is mm, not so much reliable now. So the, if you, we perform the antibody testing for only one facility, the, the, the result will be troublesome. Sometimes will be troublesome, mm -hmm. but, but in the future, we need the antibody tests so that the, the, maybe the government or the, the city government or prefecture government should perform the antibody test to check whether this test is effective for the future. 
But the, if we perform the antibody test only inside the one small facility or inside very small group, the, it could be troublesome. Mm -hmm. I understand. Well, it seems to me that it would be as a, a public service to, yeah. it would be important for a, a person uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to go ahead and get antibody testing so that, you know, as a whole, as a, as a, a, as a nation, Yep. that we would be better equipped yeah, exactly. uh, for anything in the future. Um, mm -hmm. I understand that. Now, um, ultimately, I think what you're saying about PCR and both antibody testing is that there is nothing good, a uh, better solution than having a good vaccine. Mm -hmm. How uh, is uh, the development of new uh, vaccines uh, occurring in Japan? The, the the most difficult point of making the good vaccine for the coronavirus is uh, the variation of the coronavirus. You know, the coronavirus will change the, over time and the, the, the time evolution is very, very the frequent the, among the coronavirus groups. So the, it's very difficult to make the good vaccine the, because the, you know the coronavirus will change the, from one one type of coronavirus into the other type of coronavirus soon, mm -hmm. so the, we can we cannot make the good vaccine now. Mm -hmm. So the you know the, the the University of Tokyo they got some good the funding from the government to start the, the vaccine program to manufacture the good vaccine, you know, but the I, I'm not. I'm not sure. The, well, I'm not. I don't know well about the the progress of the that program. That program. Well, it seems to me that the whole world is racing to find the right vaccine. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I could understand how it would be a, a, a really a challenging mm -hmm. issue. Um, well, today I really am much better informed about the various tests and how it works and and um, how, where we see uh, possible solutions, which really uh, seems to be the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other message, for example, to uh, people who are watching on this about uh, how we should be as individuals, uh, you know, uh, keep uh, getting motivated to make sure that we're gonna be overcoming this challenge? Yeah. Uh if you see the media that you, I think you listen to the word, the social distancing, the very frequently. And the, from our result, from our research, we found that the, the prevalence of the antibody the, among people will be really different between communities. Mm. I mean, the, inside one community, the, the antibody prevalence is sometimes sometimes very sometimes very very high. The otherwise, the one in the in one group, the prevalence was really low, and uh, this difference will be the trigger for the second wave. Mm -hmm. And the, the especially the people living in the rural area, uh, you know, the you are friends. And your friends, friends, friends sometimes become you. Uh, I, I mean, the, I have some friends, and the, this friend have some friends, and the, this friend has some friends, and the, this friend's friends will be maybe me. Mm -hmm. So the uh, social distancing is uh, sometimes effective, but the our community uh, that we live in inside a very small community usually. Mm -hmm. I, I mean that you you meet the let's say 50 people in a week, but the, the you frequently see some people and the, you you see the some very small number of people infrequently. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very difficult. To, mm -hmm. to say. So the, um, especially people among elderly, sometimes the people will think we shouldn't meet mm -hmm. people anymore. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but uh, it's not effective to protect the coronavirus because the, the, um, we live in the community. Yes. So the, the, uh, the, the, for the infection control, the, to not to enter the new coronavirus case inside our community is very important. So that to protect the, the first case inside one community is very important for the infection control. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the, for that purpose, the, if we stop seeing my relatives, it's not effective to protect the, the new case coming into, the, into our community. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes, no, I, yes, yes, I understand. And, and, and uh, you've always uh, mentioned this sort of um, how um, you, one should think about its own community. Mm -hmm. But um, I think uh, it's been really helpful because I think uh, people can relate to what they do and who they see their community is. Um, and also not to be too much in fear, not to see mm -hmm. other people, especially mm -hmm. elderly people, mm -hmm. uh, because that social distancing is actually, you know, not sort of healthy in, uh, pers from the perspective of mental health as well. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah, and the, the, you know that. I mainly I am mainly working in the Fukushima, and the, the, my research my main research area is the, the 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 health effect aftermath of the Fukushima nuclear accident. You know the 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 situation after the Fukushima disaster, and the situation after the Corona pandemic were really similar mm -hmm. to me, because you know the, after the Fukushima accident, radioactive material dispersed into the air. And we cannot see the radioactive material. We cannot feel. You cannot. We cannot smell the radioactive materials. The situation is totally the same to the coronavirus. We cannot see the coronavirus. We cannot feel or the smell the coronavirus. And but the if you get the corona infection, the you can cure sometimes, but you can be dead the, due to the coronavirus. So the, the, this is only the possibility. So the, uh, the after the Fukushima disaster, you were exposed to radiation and the, the development of cancer will be the, 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 will depend on the probability of the dose of the radiation. Mm -hmm. The situation were totally different, totally the same. So the people had a lot of fear to the radiation and the, the social distrust was the main topic after the Fukushima accident. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the in from our experience, the the, the main impact uh, of the Fukushima disaster was not from radiation, but from the social distress, the social disruption due to the radioactive contamination. That I'm very much afraid. I, I'm very much afraid that the, the same thing that will happen after the Corona pandemic. Mm -hmm. the, we we frequently talk about the, 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 the nature of the coronavirus or the, the system of the coronavirus or the how to the, make the good plan for the infection control. But at, at the same time, we have to the, pay much attention to the prevention of the diabetes or the chronic disease or social isolation or the prevention of the suicide. Mm -hmm. And the, the, from the, the lessons lessons from the fukushima the, the the magnitude of the impact by the secondary health issues were much much higher than the impact of the the main set i mean the radiation mm, very interesting and of course only you can speak about it because you have experienced managing uh, a, a challenging situation in fukushima and now are currently managing the corona Thank you very much, you very much. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you very much.